stop throwing your yard waste into the trash, you're giving away free fertilizer. Look at all this beautiful green growth I just got from my avocado tree. This is over 10 feet of growth in this last year. And all of this growth has everything that the avocado tree wants in order to continue to grow. This leaf is holding the nutrients that another leaf on my avocado tree that's still there will want in order to continue growing. So stop throwing your yard waste into the trash. You're giving away free fertilizer. So there's lots of different things we can do with this. I could absolutely just cut this up into small bits, break off these branches and leave it on the ground to become mulch. But I already put down wood chips, so I really don't need to mulch my ground with these leaves. I should use these in a different way. I could absolutely run these through the chipper, do the Korean natural farming method, and then make a ferment out of this. But I won't need any fertilizer for a few months. It's gonna be about March time frame is when I'm gonna start fertilizing my trees for the spring season. So there's no reason in doing a ferment that would be done in seven to 14 days. Now, I could still run it through the chipper. I would have nice mulch. I could either add that to my compost and let it cook down with all this nitrogen in there. It would definitely get my compost hot so I could hot compost this. I could also let it dry out and create some leaf mold soil where I would just strip off all the leaves, let them dry, keep them slightly damp and let it fungally be broken down. And leaf mold soil is really good for your soil. Or we can also do the Jadam method, which is where I could take this, crush it up, run it through the chipper, and then just put it into a bin, add some water to it, seal it up and let it sit for months that way, when I am ready and I need some fertilizer, I can go ahead and extract it out of there. So let's go ahead and utilize a couple different methods. Right here is my trash can that I'm using to make leaf mold soil. In here are a bunch of leaves that I actually got from the fig tree behind me when I was doing my mid-season pruning on it. And I took off all these branches that were growing in areas where I didn't want them to be. And when I did that, I then stripped off all the leaves off of all those branches to make this leaf mold soil. So this has only been a few months, but it's dried out and now it's slowly decomposing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of the leaves from the avocado tree because I want diversity in my leaf mold soil. I want lots of different molds, funguses, and bacteria in here. So adding different leaves will promote other growth from other uh, microbial organisms. So it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna take a branch like this and I'm just going to strip the leaves off and put it into my trash can. Now you don't have to worry if you do break off these little branches and you get what will be twigs in there. It's okay, they will break down. It just takes those a little bit longer than it'll take the leaves to break down. The leaves will take anywhere from two years to five years. It really depends on your climate and how well you're watering it. So this is going to sit in here for quite a long time. So now that I have just this branch left, I can go ahead and set this off to the side and we're gonna do something else with this because this was all one year new growth, which means it grew rapidly and it's holding on to quite a bit of nutrients in here. So I've now added about nine inches to 12 inches of leaves into here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a lid on this and set this off to the side, let them dehydrate a little bit, and then I'll come back once I've seen that they've started to dry up. I'll go ahead and crush them down a little bit. That way they're more fine, which will allow more surface area for the microorganisms to uh, embed themselves and eat up all of these leaves. Another great option is the Judam method, where we're gonna go ahead, put this into a container, let this sit for several months where it will slowly decompose and be broken down in the water anaerobically. And then when we're ready to fertilize later on in the future, we can go ahead and extract out of here and we'll be pulling out all of these lovely nutrients that were in these avocado leaves. This is one of my personal favorite ways of doing it because avocado trees need so much fertilizer 
that being able to have this to substitute this in, it gives back the trees a lot of the nutrients that they want and they don't have to work as hard to get those nutrients. Jadam is one of my favorite methods just because it's helping eliminate fertilizer usage so that way it saves me money and we're also recycling everything. This bin is all avocado uh, leaves and even some avocados that had gone bad that had fallen to the ground. So this is a very specialized fertilizer for just my avocado, avocado trees and they really do love this stuff. It makes a big difference. All right, so that's the easy way of doing the Jadam method. You really don't even have to cut it up. You can just push it into the trash can, break it, just smash it down, get it in as well as you can, and then fill this up with water. When you do everything, you're gonna want to go ahead and put all your organic matter in, fill it up with water, and then you wanna grab some really healthy soil from your property. Now, if you don't have that yet, go out into a forested area, somewhere with some trees, and just kind of rake back those leaves a little bit and grab that really nice, rich, like dark brown, almost black earth that is underneath those trees, just a handful and sprinkle it on. That's all you need to do. That will have such an enormous amount of microorganisms in it that that will kickstart this bucket and it will bring all the light that's needed in order to help this break down. And once you've done that, you've added your water, your organic matter and some leaf mold soil or really healthy compost or worm castings, whatever it is. We're just gonna go ahead and make sure everything is submerged in the water. Now, just so you know, this is going to absolutely smell. It is rotting away and breaking down. So be aware of that depending on where you want to keep your bin because you don't wanna keep it close to the house if you know it's gonna smell, but you also don't wanna put it near a fence next to your neighbors and then they're gonna smell and get mad at you. So be aware of that. And once you're done, go ahead and put the lid on, seal it up, and come back to it in a few months when your growing season's kicked off and you're ready to start growing some new plants. That's it, and once you've sealed it, go ahead and forget about it for a few months. For me, I'll be using this in March when spring comes and the trees start to put on that new growth. But if you're using any organic matter, then just let it sit for a few months. Go ahead and dilute this anywhere from i've seen a ratio of 10 to 1 all the way up to 100 to 1 or even 300 to 1 if it's really strong and that's it you have now made yourself some fertilizer for next year and it's going to be incredibly healthy you won't need to use this you won't need to go out and buy a bunch of fertilizer because you're not getting rid of anything from your own property you're just reusing it for me, with my avocado trees, because the trees are watered a lot and they're just such heavy feeders, uh, I can actually use a pretty strong dilution of this, about a 1 to 10 ratio, and the trees show no um, ill effects from it. Alright, so let's go do my favorite method now, which is we're going to go ahead and wood chip this up. So there's a little bit of charcoal still in here, which I turned into biochar. If you want to see that, subscribe. That way you can see the other video that I made about this, about making biochar, about making charcoal and turning it into biochar. So after running it through the chipper, this is what we're left with. All of that material broken down. It's all been shredded up and turned into all of this. Now this could definitely go into a compost pile. All right, so now that it's all finally broken up, we could add this into the compost pile and allow this to break down. It'll definitely break down a lot quicker now that it's been shredded up. We could have put the whole thing in there and done it that way, but it would take a little bit longer with it being shredded up like this. We can add it in and then it'll go ahead and cook down. And as we turn this, it'll just help break down faster. There's one more thing we can do with this. And I think it's one of the best ways to use this stuff. This is it right here. It's my worm bin. This is my favorite thing. 
because the worms absolutely love this fresh broken up green material. Now you don't want to add too much because it will heat up their pile and then that will kill the worms. So you have to add it in thin little layers and there's not too much here so that's perfect. So if you want to know more about the different things I just showed, I have videos on almost everything that I've shown as far as what we can do with the organic matter. I have a video on my worm bin and how I built this continuous flow through to help me produce lots of worm castings for my property. I also did a video on Jadam liquid fertilizer, which is where I go through and explain the idea behind uh, taking your organic matter and submersing it in water and letting it break down slowly over a long period of time. And I'm currently making a video on leaf mold soil, but that video is probably going to be a year out because it does take such a long time to produce that I want to be able to show you the start and the end product, what you get at the end of it. Alright, little bonus tip. There is one last thing that we can do. We can actually take some of this, shred it up, uh, organic matter and we can actually add this to biochar so in this barrel I can't tip it and show you but in this barrel is a bunch of charcoal that I had made myself and then I activated it by using some wheat bran and some microorganism solution which is another Jadam recipe and I also put in some uh, worm castings into here and I've been mixing it up now, it takes a few weeks for biochar to become active, so I'm just going to put it in, let it sit for another week, maybe two, and then I will go ahead, drain off the excess liquids that are in here, and I'll go and spread this out in my avocado grove. So that's one last bonus tip for what you could do with some of the plant matter coming out of your own yard. If you want to learn how to make biochar, I'm going to have a video on that coming up here pretty soon. So be sure to subscribe, that way you know when I come out with that video and you can see how to make your own biochar and the mass amount of benefits that come from it when you add biochar to your soil.